Hello everyone. Hello. Well, we hope you're all having a great start to the new mm -hmm. year 2023. Oh, yeah. I know we are so mm -hmm. far. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so we are here at Disney Springs. We mm -hmm. have a little dinner date tonight hey. at Wine Bar George. This will be the first time that we're dining at this particular popular location mm -hmm. so we are ready and excited for some food and wine <laughs> all right guys well you're all invited to dinner on this mag tasty production go option so where you can either sit down and savor the moment or pick up your food and wine to enjoy on the go so it's kind of a pre, uh, a neat option option for you so if you want you don't want to dine in you can just order your food come and pick it up and take it taste make sure this is going to be what you're looking for today all right that looks nice already Perfectly. Oh, this is $90 a glass. Oh, that's wow. very expensive. Oh, that's very expensive. <laughs> or it's nine. It's one of the two. I'm always misplacing that zero. There you go. Wow, I promise it's only nine. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. And for you, we got a little Hepa Wise in here for us. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. I'm being recorded. I hope this pour goes smoothly. <laughs> you can't tag me because I'm not on social media anywhere. <laughs> so. Well, LinkedIn. I guess you can find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. There I don't you know go. if that counts. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Wow, this Moscato is sweet perfection. So it's not too sweet as some other ones, but this one is sweet and kind of fruity. It is so good. So I definitely recommend this one. And usually the server, once you ask them, they, they will ask you, what do you prefer? So depending on your liking, they'll bring out some wines. Once you taste it, then you'll see if you like it or not, and you keep it. All right, guys, I love beers, and this is a Hefeweizen. Look at the color on that. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, the new magnet say it was a nice color, right? Yeah, All right, and I like the, the little wine glass kind of. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Mm. Oh, my God. It's so good. I love Heavy Weizen. It's it's almost as good as if you guys know the great food uh, beer in Epcot, the Schiefenhofer. I forget. <laughs> it's like that, but with, with, with minus the great food taste, but it's really good, smooth, awesome, great beer. Definitely recommend it. This Heavy Weizen. Really good. Now, what's neat about their menu here? Uh, you just you scan the QR code like a normal menu, but the, their menu is actually if you touch the item on the menu it shows you a picture like a preview so for example if I want the Saganaki on fire you click on it and then there shows a picture of the actual item you're uh, you're looking at so it gives you a preview to say hmm, if I'm gonna try it or not we have a picture to see if you do like it or not so that's a pretty cool feature here at the Wine Bar George since we're here for dinner we have the dinner menu pulled up here you got your small plates here firstly you have a nightly feature which is the hoop which is a, uh, a, a drink there with a whiskey drink. Uh, but here comes your small plates here. You got the olives, seasonal salads, burratas, uh, crispy mac and cheese bites, which I heard was very popular, the meatballs. 
the Saganakian fire, which I just showed you guys, uh, housemate hummus, uh, pork belly sounds good also. You got charcuterie boards here. You got a tisno, you got a, a, a regular charcuterie board, and then the big board, which is uh, for a fa larger party at $61, which I see is pretty good. And for entrees, they have the uh, Bell Evans uh, chicken breast. They also have a grilled ribeye. But they also have platters that serves two to four people. They have a skirt, uh, skirt steak and a grilled whole Greek sea bass. Wow, and it does serve up to four people. So the prices are, I think, a little high, but I think it's a lot of food. So we'll see how it looks. They also have a dinner allergy menu, which is great here. They have the small plates right here. They have also almost the same as, as a non-allergy menu here. The boards, practically almost almost everything the same as, as far as the regular menu but they do have allergy friendly which is great they also even have a kids menu it says nine and under serve white fresh fruit and apple juice and they have a choice of mac and cheese uh, kids house made meatballs and a hot dog and we have here our first appetizer this is the crispy mac and cheese bites with tomato nage or nage with uh, pericorino i can't wait to try these mac and cheese bites maybe i'll cut into them here Oh, look at that cheese. Wow, oh, it's so nice and cheesy. Yeah, that looks so good, babe. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You guys can see yeah, that better? Yeah, I can see that perfect. Wow. All right, let me go ahead and try it. Mm, wow. Oh, the crispiness on the outside, the cheesiness of the mac and cheese, that tomato sauce, and the sprinkled up Parmesan cheese over here. Excellent. Wow, if you like mac and cheese, I, I love mac and cheese. These bites are excellent, excellent tapa. Or appetizer, I would say. I definitely would recommend it. Really good. Mm. <laughs> wow! Wow, look at the cheese, guys! <laughs> Very cool. Definitely on fire. Yeah, look at that. The whole plate's on fire. Really cool. Wow, look at that simmering. Nice! Whoa! <laughs> That's <awesome>. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Let's start Let's right start away. I got these, that was so awesome with the fire, guys. Yeah, you gotta Different eat it right away. So we're the part, the top is a little. Now it gets said, a little hard, so you gotta some, eat it right away. And here's some bread now. This is the cheese. It's kind of like a Greek style cheese here. Yeah. It's not super melty. Ooh, so it's a little, look little at that, thicker. guys. That looks so good. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. Yeah. And it's nice and crust, crusty perfect, in the top. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Go for it. That looks really good. A nice piece of cheese there. Mm. And the bread is so complemented very well. Yeah, nice very and crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Now, is the wow. cheese kind of sharp? Is it like a like a brie tasting cheese? It's or like, like a brie tasting cheese. Sharp, yeah. And I can taste a nice lemon. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah, they did it, yeah. With like the, the lemon, lemon flavor? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very good mix together. I love this. This is amazing. And the presentation was that was out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> that cheese is delicious, guys. For me, it tastes more of like a mozzarella so mixed with a sharp cheese. Yeah. Like a brie or like a Vermont cheddar. Really good. I love it. I definitely recommend it. If you like cheese and the bread, like Mabin said, this is delicious. Yeah. So we went ahead with the skirt steak. Uh, it has roasted potatoes. Grilled bok choy, Magnus loves the bok choy. <laughs> Mushrooms, bacon, and chimichurri sauce here, guys. Look how big this platter is. Oh my God. And we got it medium well here. Great. And look at all the vegetables underneath. Just to show you how big the size comparison, <laughs> the, how much meat they give you. Really good, yeah, really I yummy. I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> all right, so let's start grabbing this here. Got a nice piece of steak there. Get it's your bok choy. Um, get some bok choy. Oh my god, I love bok choy. Look how big that big bok choy Oh my are. goodness, look at this. This is huge. Really good. And let me get some uh, potatoes here. Potatoes here, some taters. I just oh can't God. believe the size of And look platter. at the chimichurri sauce on it. It it's looks right outside, so right? good, guys. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. All right, let's put this here. <laughs> it's a lot of food. A lot of food. All right, let's start with the meat here. Ooh, that looks really good. All right. I'll take my glasses off. That's how good mouth. it is. <laughs> mm, my God. The cheese sauce is so good. Yeah, it's cooked well, the meat. It's nice and 
is and tangy. The meat is soft. It's cooked well. Nice flavor to it. Let me try the bok choy here. Mm -hmm. There's a bok choy, one big piece here. Very nice. Mmm. Yeah, so good. Are they nice and sauteed? Yeah. Nice and sauteed. Good flavor. It has the flavor of the meat, so it's delicious. Oh, really? Wonderful. Wonderful meal so far. <laughs> well, we don't forget the taters. Let's try the potato here. Look, nice and cooked. And nice, and they look like wedges, so they're like potato yeah. wedges, so really good. Mmm. Nice flavor. They're not hard? Not but, hard. Okay, nice good. and soft, they're, but they're not chewy either. It's perfect. It goes well with the meat and the bok choy. So this is a great meal if you if you have two people up to four people. It's a lot of food for the entree. A lot so. of food, yeah. And I always say you can't go wrong with meat potatoes, right, yeah, baby? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and our server was so nice that all I did was tell him how much we love that chimichurri sauce and brought us a whole little bowl of chimichurri sauce. Yeah, without even asking. Oh, without even asking, That's, so. That is Disney service, guys. That's Disney service, We guys, can't stress so. that much. You know, even though it's Disney restaurants are, uh, you know, are pricey. Yeah. But the service you pay for. The service is well worth it. Well worth it, exactly. And just in case you guys are wondering, Paul said bacon. Where's that Disney bacon? You can see here, there are little strips of bacon here. I got a nice piece of bacon right over here. And you can see it right here. Right there. So it does come with, it's not big pieces, but it's, it's kind of like chopped pieces. Like chopped, uh, chopped pieces of bacon. Because I know you guys, you know that I love bacon, and I know the Back Taxi family loves the Disney bacon. So. Yeah. <laughs> now here is the, uh, the actually the wine list here. Like I said, there's an like extensive wine list here. You can see the different types of uh, wines. The, the bottles go up pretty high. Uh, as you can see here. Now, Mac is saying about ounce. They serve per ounce. So, for example, here, I can find it here. Uh, this is like a dessert uh, wine, for example. One ounce is $20. Three ounces is $60, and the whole bottle is $240. And look at this one. This one goes up to $400. So, they have a great wine list, but very expensive, as you can see. Oh, number one Give dessert. Nice. Taste, make sure. Oh, I love this. Let's see if you like it, baby. So good too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's super sweet, but it's so different, guys. Yeah. This is wonderful. I'm gonna Second have this. Workout? Yeah, yes. perfect. Great recommendation. Wow, it's good. Perfect. There you go, baby. Very oh, nice. Thank you so much. Right. Wow, these wines are really fantastic, guys. So. They have such a large wine selection yeah. that I'd rather have them suggested to me yes. based on what my liking or my preference is than having me go through the list. So I just asked her server, hey, uh, you know, I like this, I like that, I like sweet wines, I like dessert wines, and then he gives you the best suggestion. So I think that's the best way to do it when you come to Wine Bar George. Let them give you all the both options that he gave me for the wines for me tonight were excellent and they paired up very well with our meal. So Mavis did go for dessert, uh, the olive oil cake, which is canned, uh, candied olives and lemon marshmallow on the top there. Really cool, and I love the presentation here, guys. Really cute. And I went with the traditional Florida favorite, key lime pie, guys. I love key lime pie. I love the presentation, very cute. Nice serving there. Can't wait to try it. Wow. I've never had a cake with candied olives. Yeah, for me, that sounds weird, guys. That is so unique and different. So let's see if it tastes just as good as it sounds. Candy. So yeah, they get a piece of the cake oh. there with the, with the olives. When you cut it with the fork, it feels like like a pudding, almost. Very soft, huh? Yeah. Get let's, some marsh component there. Let's try though. and get some of that all together. Yeah, you got uh, Thank you. Think of a bunch cake. You said made with butter. It's made with olive oil. You got a little orange and lemon zest. Yeah, it's it is so good. Marsh component cheese on top. Oh, that's yeah, sounds good. Yeah, this is unique. I really, I never had anything with candied olives on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that olive just hanging, hanging there. there. <laughs> wow. Really? I wow. thought it would taste weird, guys. I'm typing in. You can't taste a hint of the that is olive. Yeah. It's a black olive. But it's so sweet. They look it like kind of tastes olives. like a 
a dark cherry kind of. Really? Yeah. But you get the hint of the olive flavor at the very end. But it is so good. And the cake is delicious. And with this little cream on the top. Oh my god, the mascarpone. Nice and cool. Perfect dessert to end your meal. Now, I love key lime pie, guys. So let's see if this one... Uh, it's up to the test here. I love how they have like the little lime in the top. Yep. Like shredded lime. That looks really cute. Get some of the sauce nice here. Presentation. Mm -hmm. All right. That looks like a nice bite, right guys? <laughs> yeah, that looks like a, ooh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Cheers. Mm. How is that? <laughs> the pie just melts in your mouth. Oh my God. Wow, it's so good, huh? Ooh. And really tart too. The the cookie underneath the crust, very right, not it's not so crispy, but it blends well with the with the key lime. Really wow. good. Look at that! Wow. Wow! Look at that. It has more like a almost like pudding like. I'm not. Yeah, it's really. Wow. And super tart. Excellent key lime pie. I love it. So I'm gonna try it. And then I'm gonna try the wine right after the dessert wine. Mm. Let's see if it goes well with that wine. Wow. This is some dangerous wine. Uh oh, dangerous drink wine. <laughs> new uh, new category unlocked. New category unlocked here. Dangerous wines. There you go. Wow, guys, Ooh. that was really a great, a real great dining experience. Or should I say, fantastic? <laughs> it was really nice. The ambiance, the ambiance was very relaxed. The mm -hmm. food and the wine was all delicious. The service and was And the excellent. service was great. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing negative that I can say about Wine Bar George, other than check it out for yourselves if yeah. you have the opportunity and you're in Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. We definitely recommend it. We definitely highly recommend it. Um, they do have not only the dining option inside, but they have the dining option outside where you can order the food and take it to go, go, which yep. is a really nice, unique experience as well. That's awesome, yeah. And also, uh, we found out if your annual pass, they do offer the discount on the food, but before 3 p.m. Anytime after 3 p.m., they don't accept the annual pass discount. So just to let you guys know. Guys, it was a great dining experience overall. I hope you guys had fun and experience the food with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you found this video useful and fun and tasty in any way, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Tonight was a great night. Tonight was a fantastic night. night. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next Mactastic Productions. Bye. Bye.